Welcome to A Closer Glimpse. This project, well, it piggybacks off the one that was released on the main channel at the same time. This tool station is by far one of my favorite projects ever made. However, I barely showed this on the main channel, but this Lazy Susan is what you're going to see me build here. Um, it is focused heavily on the CNC, and I get it. The CNC isn't for everyone, and I try to tell people a lot of times that, you know, I just had a circular saw when I started. Um, I made a few saw horses and I made some cornhole boards and upgraded my tools as I went along. I tell this whole story in a video called This Saw Changed My Life. It's on my main channel. Um, but yeah, this thing right here, I think this might be the ultimate bit, drill, you name it. Anything that goes up into a drill or a jigsaw, I think it's amazing. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So thanks for taking a closer glimpse with me and uh, let's dive right in. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some of these tool magnet holders that I found at Harbor Freight and I'm going to cut them down. I simply just put them in a vise and take an angle grinder to them. Now that I've cut two of them in half, I got four pieces that I'm then going to make a little bit softer to the touch with some simple black duct tape. Now I'm gonna bring you in, tell you about a little bit of the digital process. Check it out. Okay, I'm gonna explain this as best I can. Uh, with filming a screen, it's not the best quality, but that's all right. I think you're going to get the gist of what I'm doing here. So we've got a Lazy Susan that we're going to install, and I've basically taken, I'll zoom in here. Now the Lazy Susan's diameter is exactly, well, let's look, is, is 9.1 inches, and basically like 9 inches and a tenth. So I've extended that to be nine and an eighth. Um, so this should be a snug fit. This is the inside dimension. Then the outside dimension is going to be roughly about nine and three quarters of an inch. And that's gonna essentially allow the Lazy Susan to fit inside here, right? So imagine I got the Susan here and I was able to push it into this piece of wood. And we're gonna set a depth of about 0.22 inches, about you know just a little under a quarter of an inch. Uh, all this will become clear when you see me build it, but I wanted to show you at least some of this digital fabrication stuff. Um, <clears throat> these edges, these are going to be four pieces of Baltic cut out with an inset for this magnet right here to go into. And this inset is just a little bit shy of being the exact depth of the magnet. I want the magnet to stick out a little bit. So, um, and again, we've got two pieces at four inches and two pieces, I believe, at 2.6. Yeah, 2.6 inches, taking the fact that each piece is 0.7 uh, thickness in terms of 0.7 inches thick. When I join these together with butt joints, it should form a perfect square. And that perfect square then has four holes cut out in the Lazy Susan for me to attach when this is attached here. These perfect, uh, this square here is going to be able to be attached to this vertically. So I'll show you the tool paths as they are being cut. Uh, I'm going to go into a 3D view here. Let's see here. Calculate. Yep, that's fine. And then if I reset everything and hit the preview, I'll kind of zoom in and show you exactly what happens with this preview. You kind of get a better idea. So here's the plate. And when we go into a three dimensional space, you can definitely see. There you go. You can see how it's cut out here. And it's going to have a recess in here for the lazy Susan to sit in. It's going to straighten that back out. And then the same goes for these as well. So if I show you the recesses, there you go. The magnets will fit in there. Hopefully seeing it from this angle helps a lot. I can actually get the background out of there too to kind of give you a diagram of what's going to be cut out. So let's do that now. So I've got a 24 by 24 inch piece in here 
three quarters of an inch Baltic and we're gonna start putting our machine to use. Let's go. Okay, one tip here. And this seems like a no brainer, but I've done it in opposite order and been like, oh goodness. Cut out your pieces that will go all the way through first. All right, get your basically your your pocket cuts first and then cut your profiles out. Because if you cut your profile out first, you have nothing to hold this piece down while it makes that pocket. Seems like so simple, but it is easy to kind of get those uh, orders mixed up when you're starting out. I find that not using tabs, if I take a little bit of the suction out of the dust collector and leave some dust kind of compacted in like that, I don't need to use tabs. The dust then gets in there and allows these pieces not to shift. You know, also having really sharp bits helps as well, for sure. Um, and I use bits and bits. I'll actually link down below. I'm an affiliate of theirs and you can save 10%. If you're interested in CNC bits, I think they're the best in the business because of the Astro coating that goes on. They use American made white side bits. And I'll show you here, so it'll focus in. There is an Astro coating on these bits and it's just so durable. I've done 50 cuts similar to this, maybe more with one bit and haven't seen any degradation in uh, sharpness or cutting. So check them out, links below. Now with all our pieces cut, a little bit of glue and brads for some simple assembly. This should go pretty quickly. Of course, a little sanding to soften the edges and be careful sanding the edge of plywood. It might get you from time to time. And if our tolerances are right, a little compression fit is all we need with a dead blow putting these magnets in place. Now off camera, I cut a few pieces for the top. I'm essentially gonna join these together with some CA glue. Of course, this is gonna be extra bit storage, as you can see from the top of it having so many holes in it. Those are machined just right to fit most of your standard impact bits. However, the lid doesn't quite fit as tight as I wished. Now, instead of recutting it, I'm just gonna trim down some of these simple veneers that I have place them in there with some CA glue and that makes the tolerance just that much tighter and the lid fits very nicely now. Oh yeah. So I'm going to install the Lazy Susan first right into the deck and then the compression fit of this piece was just so right I didn't need to use any mechanical fasteners and that's good to go. And that's what it looks like. You have four sided bit storage along with a whole bunch on the top. Really like how this is coming out. Of course, you can store bits as tall as the, you know, Craig jig pocket hole bit. Check this out. And also it still gives me room to put a battery up top. But of course you guys want to see how I loaded it up, right? Well, here we go. Guys, thank you so much for taking a closer glimpse with me here. Um, this thing, I just love it. Absolutely love it. And one of the other cool parts is that you can take this off and take it where you need to in case you ever need to just, who knows, travel with it. Take it to, uh, you know, a picnic or something. <laughs> just kidding. Um, I did mention something on the main channel um, about this video where I was cutting these, these holders out for my dad and um, came up with like this kit. This is like six um, basically of these tool holders. Um, he wants to assemble them for sure, but essentially they're pretty easy. Uh, the joints are so tight that all you need is glue and a little bit of time. Um, you can even just CA glue these together and they'll be plenty strong. 
Um, I like them. I like these a lot, but I haven't put them out there and, because I want to see, I, just wanna, I want to get some feedback. I want to see if you guys think maybe they'd be worth uh, maybe purchasing people doing a DIY kit. Who knows? Yeah. All right. That's all I got. Thanks for again. Appreciate you joining me today and y'all have a great day and uh, I'll see you on the next Closer Glimpse. Until then, y'all be safe. See you later.